Hi all and welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and my new series a video user's guide to APT. This series is going to run directly alongside the written user guide and cover everything it does as best I can. Um, as such it's not an in-depth view to what's in APT but it covers the basics the same as the written guide does. Uh, this video series is going to be quite long I think. Um, at the moment I'm working out about 60 videos plus updates as new versions of APT are released. Currently it will be based on the version 4.30 but I know already that 4.31 the uh, release available to those who have purchased a license um, it already has a number of things in it that are going to require some major upgrades when it's released as 4.40. Um, for in-depth guides to what's going on in APT I will be doing a sister series to this one where I take a more in-depth deep dive into various parts of APT the things that people have problems with or may be a little bit complicated and require a bit more explanation but for now like I said this is just a basic video user guide and I hope people find it useful we're going to start today with the prerequisites for running APT and do an actual installation. So let's get into it. Now for the first part of this video there's not really much for me to do as the written guide actually covers it pretty well. Um, if you're just using a camera and lens, a Canon or Nikon, you can simply pretty much plug them in and away you go. Uh, once you learn how to do everything else of course but if you're using things that uh, might require drivers you need to get them all set downloaded and installed and configured um, and get ASCOM up and running um, various bits and pieces for different equipment you need to get the ASCOM drivers and native drivers if they're available for your devices etc if you want to use guiding you need to get guiding uh, program to, to go. Um, I use PHD2. Um, if you want plate solving you need to set those up for you, the programs for that. And if you want to use a planetarium you need to install that and get it set up. But uh, all those are covered in another series I've done on the pre-install for Astro Imaging. So I'll link to that and if you need it you can go have a look at that. So from there we'll just go on to actually installing APT so straight into that to download APT simply follow the link in the description which will take you to the APT website while you're there you might want to have a quick read of the alternatives drives program uh, progress that's uh, where you can learn about how you can support APT and why you need to support programs like APT but just to download it, simply go to the downloads page uh, link on the left here, click on that and that will take you to the download pages. Now if you don't have a uh, key for APT, you can download the current demo version, like I said that's 4.30. If you have a key already or you purchase a key to support APT, um, I think it's worth doing for the price of a few cups of coffee. Um, you can download the full version which has no limitations or you can even go over and get the preview versions which like I said is currently 4.31 and that introduces a lot of changes um, that you might find useful. But for now, whichever version you're downloading, simply download it to wherever you normally download it and then we'll go on to the actual install, quite simple. And you simply need to go to wherever you've downloaded the program to. I've got it on my desktop here and simply double click on it. Now this is the full version. Um, if you've downloaded the demo version you will have a diff slightly different name on it but it will be pretty much the same anyway. So just double click on it and away the uh, installation will go. Of course yes, give it permission. Uh, next. Uh, I suggest installing it into the default locations as I do for most programs so I just click next uh, I would do want to create a group on the menu because there are a number of things in there we'll need later and I do create the desktop shortcuts for now I'll move them around if I need to later and install now this will also install a couple of um, Microsoft redistributables which are actually probably the longest part of the whole install um, but it doesn't take long at all. 
Now you'll get three or two links on the desktop, sorry. You have a simulation mode, which I will cover later, as well as the default for APT. So once it's done, and I don't need personally to see the release notes, so I'll just click finished. And that's it, APT is installed. Now the next video we'll be moving into is starting APT and connecting your cameras. So I will hope you'll, hopefully you'll join me for that one. But until then, clear skies all and take care. Bye.